So where are we going today, Jessie? The Hobart Show. Awesome. So this is going to be like the Sydney Royal Easter Show, Sydney although a lot smaller and stuff. Yeah. So it's almost one o'clock and we're about to leave. It's about a 40 minute drive. So that's good that we don't have to catch a bunch of trains and buses and stuff. We just yeah. get to drive there and park. My entertainment is my iPad. <laughs> That'll be fun in the car. So we should get there maybe about 1.30 or two o'clock we'll get there. And these are the worst L plates to put on the car. I hate putting these on. <laughs> they never stick. Look at this, it just slides everywhere and it just so unsteady. Here's one of my favorite birds in Tassie. That's the blue wren. That's the male one. The male ones are blue and the girl ones are brown. In fact, there we go. There's the female blue wren and the male blue wren just ran by. Okay, so we're currently going along. Over there, we got Billy the Bull. See that letterbox over there? Yeah. And we're just on our way over to uh, the Hobart show. This, I hate driving on this road because on this particular road, um, you have to really, you don't know what's coming around each corner. So it becomes very frustrating. One thing I really hate about driving is you can't just keep your foot on the pedal. The signals... Right hand. Oops, no, wait, not I'm not going. <laughs> See, I get confused about the indicating and stuff you have to do here in a car. <laughs> just all the indications you have to do when you go into a roundabout, you'd go one side indicator, then when you're about to leave it, you do another indicator, but I just went straight, so I didn't use the indicator. Uh, just all these things you've got to focus on here. Um, and then the speed, you've got to constantly, it's not like you go 50, so you just keep your foot on the accelerometer and the accelerator, and it'll just go 50 kilometers an hour. I'm thinking, I didn't know my car had an <laughs> accelerometer. Can you tell me where that Actually, is? I just hate the fact that you just can't have your foot on the, that pedal, and it just stays at 50. It just, it go, you, you're driving, you have to take it on and off and on and off and on and off. As you go up and down hills, the speed increases and decreases. You can't keep your foot on and it stays at one speed, unfortunately. Don't Joe, forget to turn. Joe is now coming down the southern outlet. Joe is just currently stuck behind a large heavy vehicle. It has to go in low gear. Otherwise, if their brakes fail, they'll kill about 100 people at the traffic lights. Okay, so we're currently in the Hobart CBD area right now. Um, and this is where there's kind of endless traffic that we have to deal with. It's actually the fourth worst for traffic in Australia. Yeah, we're going down the main street here. I think it's um, Macquarie. I think it's Macquarie Street. The traffic is so bad here that they're actually thinking of building an underground like tunnel that goes through so people don't have to drive through the city centre all the time. There's also some my favourite old stones buildings here along on the left here. There's a big church, nice, it's very famous St. David's Cathedral. The Reverend is quite happy there, it's quite a big building. There's more, more old buildings up here, look at that. Look at that terrific old structure. I don't know what it is. Oh, here's, here's something which is quite good, look at that. That's a big post office, extraordinary. It's a big building. And as you can see here, we've got an old building with a new one coming out the top of it just there. Very strange. So over we go to the Hobart show. It's just across the road somewhere.
not boring. They go upside down. four-month-old bunny and it gets to double that size. Yeah, he'll reach. He'll, wow. He's <laughs> he'll probably touch on six kilos. Oh, wow. He yeah. His face will broaden and he'll get longer and bigger. This pigeon got first prize. It's a standing crowd. Look. <laughs> oh, you. Ooh. 
Look at that. Oh, wow. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, these have no beaks. Where are their beaks? What? These look so interesting, these birds. Got a brown one over here. Another white one. Those are the funniest <laughs> feet. First prize. First prize. Those are the funniest feet I've ever seen on a bird. Can't believe how many different birds I've got here. Look at this one over here. Oh, it's massive. <laughs> You're a massive bird. You almost look like an eagle. Before McDonald's? After McDonald's. <laughs> oh, these ones are so <laughs> that one's angry. Yeah, that one doesn't look too happy. This is a magpie. A magpie? That is a magpie. It's not. It says magpie. That does, oh, magpie. Philip, Philip, this is Philip's one. Philip's Philip magpie. magpie. <laughs> Isn't this one a goose? And look, there's a funny little rooster. I touched it. <laughs> These are the strangest birds I've ever seen. Wow, what are those? <laughs> They've got like ball heads. That's a real big breast. <laughs> That's a creepy pet. And this is the chicken area. Oh, that's very violent. Yeah. Is that not the biggest chicken you've ever seen? So big. Some of these are so big. Size of a cat. <laughs> a cat would be scared of that. It's silky roosters. I touched the tail. That's almost like ours at home, Yum Cha. It's Yum Cha. <laughs> Our chicken. And that's like our other our white chicken that we keep dyeing different colours. <laughs> oh, look at this pom pom head. <laughs> oh, that's cool not to cut the top. <laughs> this one's got quite an interesting colour. I haven't seen that before. Oh, this one's beautiful. <laughs> wow, those are like little tiny chickens. They're so cute. Beautiful one. Look at you. Look at your little danglers. I'm fiddling with your little danglers. Yeah, you like that. Fiddling with your danglers. A little dangler. Look at your little danglers. Waffle, my dear. Beautiful, aren't you? So little baby. Oh, oh, oh look, little baby. <laughs> that looks sweet, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Okay, can we not let it pick your hand? This one's got an interesting colour to it, all the speckles in it. They're all running around before Yeah, there's a little pig race before and this is a little ending of it. They are pigs. They are pigs. Those are such fluffy cows. <laughs> they like big dogs. Mm -hmm. So we've got commercial lambs in here. What are commercial lambs? Lambs that are on commercials. <laughs> commercial lambs. I don't see anything. They're all they're, they're, they're all, all doing ads. They're all on TV. Ads. Yeah. They're all on it. Look at how woolly these guys are. Hello. I think these are alpacas or llamas, one of the two. No fingers near the mouth. <laughs> oh, look, you're a dairy cattle. A <laughs> dairy cattle. Well, that's what it says. Well, there's two types. Hasn't made up his mind yet. 
walls are gonna be spared. <laughs> Look at you. Hello, how are you? Uh, I don't know about the news going back. Why are they alpacas? Are they? You said they'll love Oh, they don't spit, do they? No. Oh, they you kiss you. Not spit at me. These are the human ones, the alpacas. Hey, yeah. yeah. Here we've got a pink silky chicken. Someone copied our idea. <laughs> Excellent. Can you even put the side? I can't feel it. Wow. Thanks for letting us see it. That's all right. I've never come this close to a turkey before. It's this wee bee. Yeah, Benj, come and have a look at this. Cuddle. Oh, you are so good. <laughs> look at you. You're a good turkey, aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> See, I'm not even holding his legs now. He seems all right. Are they baby turkeys? That one's got a very big eye. Because there's a chicken there. Yes, the baby turkeys. Oh, I see. Chicken for a foster mother. Oh, oh so I see. So she's hatched them. Yeah, she hatched them. So she oh. thinks they're her babies. Yeah. Our Silky's got 12 little babies, mm. and um, at night we bring them inside. Um, and put them in the bathroom because yeah. it's too cold outside. And, and then... Jazzy has decided to go inside this lovely tube. Here she is. What do you think of the horses, Jazz? Jazzy wants to have ice creams and stuff, but it's now dinner time. And now she wants chips for dinner. So Jazzy, Jazzy, what show bag do you think you're thinking of? Just like the Sydney Royal Easter show. That's so cool. So Jazzy, what did you think of the Hobart show? Do you like the Hobart show better or the Sydney Royal Easter show better? About the same. About the same, okay. Oh, this is much better. Less crowds. Less lining Less up for stuff here. Up, yeah. yeah. So where are you going now, Jazzy? John Doggett Park. John Doggett Park. So this is um, in West Hobart. This was built, I think, November 2017. They 
made this big massive slide and Jazzy absolutely loves it. Okay, here we go, up the big slide. Go. I'm just going down slow, right? Oh. There we go. I actually don't like this. This is awful. Just like Do you this climb way. through? See that little gap up there? Just wait, just let me go up. It almost looks like you could fall down if you went down there, doesn't it? Put your hand on this bar. Now that bar. Wee, Jazzy, and now Mum. Go. You can't Put your feet up. Oh, shoot. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> So this is what it's like being up here. Trust me, it's a lot higher than it looks. You really wouldn't want to fall off here onto the ground. It's quite high up. Okay, I'll go down. Ready? Three, two, one. Are you filming? Yep. Whoa. There we go. Cool. You go down. So what did you just get at the shop, Jazzy? I wanted to get the big, you know, the electronic hatch mall thing. I thought they were $12, but apparently they're $79. Mm. So I just got these little collectibles instead. <laughs> collectibles, that's cool. So you take it out of the little package thing. Now what you do is you just rub the heart until it turns pink. Okay. So it's purple. Oh, wow, look See? at that. So it's turning pink, yep. See, so look, it goes soft. So you broke it, yep. You break it open. Oh, it's a common, so you could tell by the wings. If yep. they're silver, it's a common, so look at that. What was your favourite part of the Hobart yeah, show? Um, what's it called? The bouncing of the mess. Oh, with that man. You yeah. went in with that man. Okay. What was your favourite part, Mum? Oh, the, the turkey and all the chickens and the um, emus. Oh, okay. So while Diana was patting a turkey today, she said something about wanting to post some photos to the Australian Heritage Turkey Society, Inc. And if we scroll down their Facebook page... Oh, I was up there. I saw myself. Well, most people at the Hobart <laughs> Royal prefer to cuddle the poults. Diana and Jasmine fell in love with our old Greg and Monet. So you're on the official Turkey Society. Apparently, uh, she was the only one at the Hobart show to pick up and want to cuddle that turkey. In this video they've got on their Facebook page, you can see my camera filming. Anyway, that's the end of our day at the Hobart Show. See ya.